Composing a score for movies is on the top of my list. It is my dream and I enjoy every second of it. My inspiration comes from the movie itself. It comes from the intention and the, and the, the message the director wants to project. And the music has to be in function of that. The music shouldn't interfere with the dialogue or the drama. It should enhance and collaborate with what happened on the film. This is my main motivation. The reward of doing that successfully is indescribable. It was such an honor to work with Mr. Clint Eastwood. Everybody knows that he is a very musical person, you know. Uh, uh, he's very meticulous and specific on his approach in terms of the music on films. And for me, it was a challenge, but I enjoyed that very much because, in the end, it is my mission to create, but also to be flexible and please the director. No one knows more about the movie than the director himself. As a composer, it's, it's a mandatory to be in concordance with the director's vision. As a jazz musician, this is what I've been doing all my life. I've been creating and improvising on spot. I'm very blessed that is part of my daily job and it comes in very handy with this kind of work. Because of that, ideas and variations flow easily and sporting sessions move along quickly. Everyone knows Arturo as the jazz man, Afro-Cuban, bebop and the likes, but what they don't know is that Arturo's true passion is composing underscores. And I'd say that his first love is uh, the piano. He's got Oscar Peterson's piano and um, he enjoys that instrument very much. Every morning he wakes up and he gets his espresso and his cigar and he sits at the piano and composes a lot of the music that, that we all hear today. ever composed in any genre has always been composed on his piano. Before he became the jazz legend that everyone knows, uh, he actually was classically trained since the age of 12. Um, and he's actually created some incredible masterpieces, a couple of classical concertos, the Arturo Sandoval Concerto for Trumpet and Orchestra. He not only composed these two concertos, but he actually arranged them and orchestrated them and has performed them all around the world. He's a lot more than the best trumpeter in the world. His 
dream is to be here in his studio, spotting, creating, composing, improvising with the director, with the music supervisor and, and the whole team. one person in the underscore industry that has given him a chance and wasn't completely blown away by his versatility and his talent. I was so happy to record at Eastwood the scoring stage at Warner Brothers Studio. It's in state they are studio and um, we are very fortunate and proud to have such a high level musician in the city of Los Angeles. They really help it keep everything moving so fast and smoothly. For me, it was uh, very nice to see how motivated Clint was with the score. It was a big inspiration for me. Not only he uh, did approve my initial cues, but uh, also he suggested spots for new cues that weren't considered in, in the beginning of the spotting. That was a huge compliment for me. <laughs> 